everyone. Welcome to Research MD. This is Dr. Pramil. We've been doing a series of lectures on alternative medicine. Everybody takes it, but nobody knows how exactly it's going to work. So today we're going to talk about another special topic, um, cinnamon, and how does it decrease our blood pressure, okay? Now again, this is Dr. Pramil Charat. I work as a chief medical officer in the United States, also in associate professor of medicine. So let's dig into our subject right here. What is cinnamon? And everybody knows that. Uh, alternative medicine, big role. Um, if you know the uh, Chinese medicine, Ayurvedic medicine, it all say like, you know, we've been talking about centuries. So what is the most uh, common ingredient or what is the ingredient in cinnamon causing all this? You got active ingredients, cinnamaldehyde, eugenol, and cinnamyl acetate. And uh, this compound, these are the main thing is going to um, prevent or decrease the blood sugar. Now, before we know, get into this, we need to know how does the, you know, how do we get high blood pressure? Usually we have a lot of inflammation, okay, <clears throat> a lot of um, uh, oxidative reaction, reactive oxygen species, you have to know, cause like a lot of inflammation. Those are free radical, which is uh, um, free oxygen radicals, which is very damaging to the tissue. They act on this endothelium damage and it produces the nitric oxide that get decreased. When the nitric oxide goes down, the blood vessel get constricted, your blood pressure goes up. The whole purpose of this, we need a lot of nitric acid. You don't want mm, anything happen to your nitric acid. Nitric oxide is important for the relaxation of the blood vessels, okay? So that is the one, that is the main mechanism if somebody can have high blood pressure. Now, let's look at it, like, I mean, what does this active ingredient, cinnamaldehyde, eugenol, and cinnamyl acetate, they, they do the impediment of calcium influx and release, and um, so when you, when you have less calcium, that can cause like vasodilatation, more calcium, vasoconstriction, right? So when the calcium level goes down, vasodilatation, your blood pressure can go down, okay? Otherwise, blood pressure, blood pressure remains high. So in this mechanism, they impede the calcium release, less calcium, so vasodilatation, blood vessel dilates. And now when we look at over here, you know, uh, the other thing it does is like um, the activity, they decrease the lipid peroxidation, increase antioxidant activity, and increase uh, free radical scavenging activity, they inhibit all of that. Okay, remember that cinnamon inhibit this, so more nitric oxide. That's what this we need to know. They all this, and I mean, they give like uh, antioxidant properties, and uh, um, that's the way it just kind of decrease the, uh, I mean, that decrease the blood pressure. Remember, it's the nitric oxide, that's the one uh, they decrease the endothelial damage, so more nitric acid produced, and your blood pressure goes down. They're also mediated by this SRCSYK mediated uh, nuclear fracture kappa B and uh, TGFB and P38 marker activity. They go and inhibit this over here. So that means decrease endothelial damage, more nitric oxide, and the blood pressure become dilated. Okay, so those are the main mechanisms cinnamon usually kind of decrease somebody's blood pressure. Studies have shown it's got a bigger role in it. Thank you so much. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.